All right, good morning. Thanks for stopping by. So it turns out there are no showers here at this campground, but it's okay. I've got my shower tent set up and I'm gonna try heating up the water <laughs> this way. Put this right here on this pavement. That should get pretty hot. And there's a faucet right here. So I'm just filling up the bucket right, right out of that. I'm not using the shower water I have in my reservoir. So we're gonna give that until the afternoon and check it and see if it's good and warm. If it's not, we'll just boil a pot on the stove and add to it. But before we shower today, let's go get a little more dirty. And we'll go down to the river and check that out. I'm guessing this walking trail will lead us right down to the river. We'll follow it and see where it goes. It was a quiet night here last night. A guy in a camper van pulled in about four spaces from me. And at first I thought it was gonna be a sleepless night because the dog wouldn't start, would not stop barking. Now, when you're at a campground, you just cannot expect peace and quiet. It's just not gonna happen. All you can hope for is nighttime hours to be quiet. And it was. So I was happy with that. Oh, there's a sitting bench there. Where's the trail down to the... Man, there's a big sandbar there. There's been uh, speed boats going by, like tour boats, jet boats, I guess. No, that's not going, that's going away from the river. I gotta figure out how to get down here. I just gotta find out how to get to it. Maybe it's back the other way. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'm still walking. <laughs> I still have not found a pathway down to the river. I'm like, maybe I ended up picking a campsite that it looks like it's close to the river, but maybe the entryway is actually on the other side of the campground. And I must be blind. Here's my campsite, right? Well, I walk past this trail like three times. It's right here at my campsite. <laughs> Here's the pathway down to the river. Easy. Let's go check it out. Let's watch for snakes and other little creepy crawlies. Socks and sandals, baby. <laughs> oh yeah nice have to bring the chair down here man I wish I could park the van down here I'm looking for tire tracks there's tire tracks right there somebody's been how do you get down here what the hey Hey, there's buzzards down here. Look at that. There must be something down there to nibble on. Dead fish or something. But See those markers out there? There's a green one. Let me zoom. Then there's an orange one. That's for the boats. They come through here. Sometimes this water is only like a, a foot deep or just a few inches deep. So they've got the channel mark for the boats to come through. But... I don't think they're prop boats. I'm pretty sure they're jet boats because the prop would hit the rocks. This is awesome. I think there's got to be a way down here. Can't you just picture the Matty Wagon parked right there or right down there? Uh oh, I hear, I hear a boat coming. You'll hear the people screaming before you see the boat. <laughs> it must be an exhilarating boat trip. But uh, yesterday, it was like one every 30 minutes or an hour coming by. Here they come. Good timing, let me zoom in on them. See, it's like 20 people in this boat. 
Let's see how he works this channel here. Yeah, he's sticking with the markers. <clears throat> Waves. They're all waving, look. Yeah. Hydro jet boat. Yeah, it's no prop on that boat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Excellent timing. The waves. Uh-oh, he had a little trouble up here. What's going on? He had a little bit of a dip there. Oh, he's turning them around. Oh my gosh. I hope you can see what he's doing. That was an amazing flip around. He's giving them a ride of a lifetime. The bow of the boat kind of dipped into the river there for a minute. <laughs> Well, it's pretty awesome. I think I figured out this road right here. Uh, way on back up the road, when I was coming in, there was a big sign that said area closed. I think people used to could come down here, but it's not even a day use area now. It's just completely closed. They should at least open this area up where people can come down during the day. Maybe the campground owns it now. And you can only come down here if you're camping, if you're a paid camper. Let's go see how cold the water is. All right, I'm only in sandals now, no socks. You get, you dip a toe in. The Rogue River. Two years ago, I was here. I was, Kevin and I were down that way, probably, I don't know, five miles. Oh, the water's cold. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not going swimming in that. And it's the, probably the least clean water probably because all the boat traffic you know it kicks up the the mud and the silt and all that stuff I smell a dead fish maybe that's what the buzzards were eating it was over this way buzzards are gone now this is lovely now I'll just uh, hang out and wait for the boat to come back. Or maybe that's where they go and launch up here and then they come down and go back. I don't know. But anyway, my campsite is right through the trees there. Let's head on back. So there we go. Almost didn't find the trail again. It's kind of hidden. You got to really look for it. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's easy access. Turns out I picked a really good campsite. Look at this old tree. What the heck is that? Is that a redwood? That's amazing. That's almost six feet across. Man. All right, I'm watching for poison ivy. Man, this is steep. <laughs> Barefoot and sandals, baby. And here we go. All right, I think it's time for another cup of coffee. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for today. And tomorrow, we'll go to the beach. We'll hang out on the beach all day tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care, be well, and smash the bell.